Alliance International and Channel 10 are proud to have been associated with the Miss Personality Quest since its inception in 1972. Over the last 13 years, more than 600 girls have given their time to the quest, raising much-needed funds for vital medical research and facilities in a variety of areas. 26 of these girls have been honoured with the title of Miss Charity and Miss Personality and have gone on to be worthy ambassadors for the quest, spreading the ideals of goodwill and generosity throughout our community. Tonight, we honour a further 30 girls. Eight will be finalists and two will be bestowed with the title of Miss Charity and Miss Personality 1985. Good evening, I'm Mike Smithson and I welcome you to this presentation of the 1985 Miss Personality Quest. <laughs> Tonight is a celebration, the culmination of many months hard work by the entrants who have raised funds for this year's quest. To all of you, we say a very big thank you. Now to get the celebrations underway, we give you that great entertainer, the virtuoso of piano and song, ladies and gentlemen, Simon Gallagher.
And now, please welcome the eight finalists in the 1985 Miss Personality Quest. Sponsored by Mount Gambia Lions, Lioness and Leo Clubs, Miss Carolyn Kenny. Sponsored by Marion Lions Club, Miss Tracy Brammer. Sponsored by Darwin Casuarina Lions Club, Miss Danielle Cross. Sponsored by Teetree Gully Lions and the City of Adelaide Lions Clubs, Miss Cheryl Whiteley. Sponsored by Kensington and Norwood Lions Clubs and a touch of finesse, Miss Carmel Fitzpatrick. Sponsored by Cleve District Lions Club, Miss Joanne Nolan. Sponsored by Edwardstown Lions Club, Miss Monique Gammon. And sponsored by Mitcham Lions Club, Miss Diane Collier. Ladies and gentlemen, the eight finalists competing for the title of Miss Personality, 1985. seen through the Lacornu catalogue yet? What a super showtime show! Everything at low, low Lacornu prices. Come in and see all our luxurious lounge suites, all our delightful dining room suites, all our beautiful bedroom suites, the miles and miles of carpet. Even if it's the finest, best-made furniture in Australia, it's at low, low Lacornu prices. Showtime sale prices. Come on in and see them all. You'll love it. Love it at Lacornu. G'day. I've been invited to the lodge for dinner, and I'm not even a member, so I'm making something special with phyllo pastry and vegetables. Now, where's the cheese? Between each sheet, you scatter Australian cheddar, because I reckon Australian cheddar is better than the imported stuff. With some broccoli, some carrot and onion, you wrap that up and into the oven at 200 degrees. And serve it hot! Good evening, sir. Hazel and Bob aren't expecting you. Great! It's that lodge! The range of games and gifts is incredible. The price is unbelievable. In fact, the range quality and price is so good. Well, they speak for themselves and sing. Welcome back. The aim of the quest is to raise funds for vitally important medical research. Research which will ultimately provide great benefits to those in the community less fortunate than ourselves. Tonight is the climax of many months of untiring work by 30 charming young ladies who are the entrants in the 1985 Miss Personality Quest. Their valuable fundraising efforts will assist the following organisations. The Lions Save Sight Foundation, the Lions Eye Bank of South Australia, the Lions Australian Kidney Foundation, the Channel 10 Children's Medical Research Foundation, and the Oncology Unit at the Adelaide Children's Hospital. Tonight we'll be honouring two young ladies. Firstly, the top fundraiser who will be crowned Miss Personality Charity Queen, and then the announcement of Miss Personality for 1985. And speaking of personality, would you please welcome the lady who put the fire into contemporary violin. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Lowe.
They're not gonna like this at all. Well, I can't believe they did this. They wrecked our restaurant. And not even the A-team can fight the luncheon. Is this mixture of Chinese cunning and kung fu really too much for the A-team? Something bigger's going on. Freeze! They don't know who they got upstairs. Yeah, who's that? The A-team. No kidding. No, they're not cops. Oh! It's gonna be hotter than... The A-team. Fourth of July. Monday night at 7.30, only on 10. When you want it, come and get it. You can get anything, anything at all. And right now, you can save the Savory's way with incredible showtime savings on quality wall units, bedroom and lounge suites. And Savory's incredible discount bedding buys bring prices crashing down. Single bed in the springs are now just $49. Is at the show and save. You're always welcome at the Pizza Hut for pizza made with ah cheese, dripping with that wonderful. Mmm, I can hardly wait to taste that. Oh, Pizza Hut's famous pan pizza, too good for words. And right now at your local Pizza Hut, every child will get a free pizza copter with their next Pizza Hut pizza. But hurry ah. before they all take off. Welcome back. In every quest, the ultimate success depends on the dedication shown by all the entrants. For without them, there would be no quest. Unfortunately, there can only be two winners tonight, Miss Charity Queen and Miss Personality Queen 1985. So, to all of you, we say thank you for your untiring efforts throughout the year. For what you have contributed to the community, you are winners, one and all. to assist in the presentation of this year's Miss Charity Queen. Would you welcome the 1984 runner-up Miss Charity Queen, Judith Hanley. <laughs> and to announce Miss Personality Charity Queen for 1985, would you now welcome the chairman of the Lions Channel 10 Miss Personality Quest, Mr. Jeff Oates. Thank you very much, Mark. Jeff, good evening. Now, in some ways, it's a bit of a sad occasion for you tonight. I wouldn't say sad altogether, Mike. I guess that uh, it's been my small contribution to life, to the uh, and society, to the girls, the entrants and our beneficiaries. Yes. District Governors of 1984-85, and I thank you for your cooperation throughout the year. The Leader of the Opposition, Mr. John Olson and Mrs. Olson. The Lord Mayor and Lady Mayoress, Mr. and Mrs. Jim Jarvis. Distinguished Lions, distinguished guests. It is time to recognise the year for the wonderful work carried out in the fundraising by the entrants, their clubs, their committees and the families for a job exceedingly well done. Under these difficult times, fundraising is not easy, but each and every one of you have done a magnificent job and are to be congratulated for an effort well carried out. The money raised this year will assist 
the funding of the Lions Save Sight Foundation, the Children's Medical Research Foundation, the Oncology Unit at the Adelaide Children's Hospital, a Lions Australian Kidney Foundation Renal Research Scholarship and the local charities will benefit from the 15% rebate. Tonight we have entrants from the South East, the Northern Territory, the Riverland, country and city areas. All 30 entrants are worthy of recognition for their magnificent efforts and along with the cooperation and the untiring efforts of our co-sponsors SAS Channel 10, you have raised this year in excess of $208,000. Since the inception of the quest some 13 years ago, $2,630,000 has been raised. Our fundraising has been greatly assisted and supported throughout the year, and I pay a tribute to the warmth of the public of South Australia and the Northern Territory, who have donated so generously to our fundraising projects. To the sponsors, each and every one of you I thank you on behalf of the Lions Channel 10 Miss Personality Quest Committee. The girls have gained the opportunity to broaden their horizons and meet many dignitaries and improve their self-esteem and valuable worth in society. As I look at the lovely quality and the calibre of the young womanhood in the entrance, I feel assured of the future for South Australia, the Quest and of course our beneficiaries. Earlier this evening, the club incentive of a portable amplifier system was selected and it goes to the Lions Club of Darwin. Third Miss Charity raised $10,267 and is from the Lions Club of Darwin in Susan Pike. The second prize Miss Charity raised $12,059.50 and is from the Lions Lioness and Leo's Club of Mount Gambier, Miss Carolyn Kenny. And now, Mike, for the big moment, and although it is the fourth time it has been my pleasure to announce Miss Charity, I am as keen as the entrance to know who the winner really is. And Jeff, I don't think you're the only one somehow. And the winner is... And I'm pleased to say she comes from... The, she is sponsored by the Findon Lions, Lioness and Leo's Club, Joanne Gawley. Miss Charity Queen for 1985 wins an unforgettable 14-day holiday for two in Bangkok and Singapore with Thai Airways International and destinations unlimited with free travel within Australia by Ansett Airlines. She will receive $2,000 in traveller's checks from the Westpac Banking Corporation, $400 worth of imported French perfumes and accessories, and $400 worth of quality Javina products from McNeil Fister. Six months hair care from Clip Joint and beautiful Italian leatherwear from Poche. Congratulations, Miss Charity Queen 1985. I'm sure there are many people you'd like to thank. Congratulations, Joanne. Now, you're excited, and I'm sure there are many out there likewise. Yes, Mike, there would be. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, pr I'm proud to receive this honour of being Lions Miss Personality Charity Queen for this coming year, and I'll try to uphold, <laughs> up <laughs> try to uphold previous traditions. I've really enjoyed participating in the Miss Personality Quest, and it's an experience I will never forget. Um, the friendliness of the other girls and, Miss, and the help from Robin, Robin Leader in the office has been terrific and I thank them all. Um, friends, <laughs> I guess there are many of them out there uh, as well. Heaps of friends. <laughs> Lots of friends. I sincerely like to thank the Lions Club of Finden, the Lions, Lioness and Leo's Club of Finden. Um, 
and also Channel 10 for all the hard work they have done to make this night possible. And Mr and Mrs Olsen are sitting at home now. <laughs> I'd like to thank them. They've been terrific all year. And my dad, my sister, who's been great, and all my, my grandma, my aunties and uncles and cousins and everybody. <laughs> and <laughs> last but not least, I'd like to thank my mother. She's worked so hard and tirelessly all year and unselfishly devoted all her spare time to help raise money for the quest, and I love her for it. And to me, she's a winner too. <laughs> Thank Great. <laughs> Thanks very much, Joanne. And now, I'm wondering if you'd do, do us the honour of parading for us. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Miss Charity Queen, 1985. Each year, 50,000 people journey to Australia's top end to see firsthand the amazing national park called Kakadu. Saturday, join Jack Thompson and share a memorable experience. The wildlife, the scenery, the people. Kakadu, 5 o'clock Saturday on 10. Now you know you want a swatch and you want to know what's new. Here's the word for Samuel's Jewelers. That's Swatch HQ. New bands. New hands. New sizes. And, and surprises. surprises. Swatches to see through. Oh, wow. Swatches that shine. Twinkle, twinkle. Swatches for your nose. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Sweet smelling time. Mm -mm. These Swiss made watches are quartz, precise, shock proof, waterproof, and Samuel's Jewelers price. $49.95. That's all. That's true. That's Samuel's Jewelers. Watch out. In a store near you. Crazy, crazy, crazy at the Rundle Arcade Singer Sewing Centre, George has cut his prices. This magic Singer Sewing Machine with 14 inbuilt stitches, automatic buttonhole and free arm, now $239. Free arm Singer Overlocker with new inbuilt tension system, cutting knife and cotton, $399. Singer Ironing Press, $399. The new Singer Rug Maker, $399 and includes free rug kit. A Singer Drill Kit, only $69.95. The Rundle Arcade Singer Sewing Centre. See George before they take him away. <laughs> He's crazy. The Australian Federation of Travel Agents present the $20,000 Christmas Appeal Lottery. Go up in the air with first prize. A trip for two to London flying Malaysian airline system. A 12-day tour of England and Ireland from Trafalgar Tours. The Australian Federation of Travel Agents will supply two nights accommodation in London and $500 spending money. First prize is valued at $10. The second of the treasure trove of prizes is valued at $5,000. A Newman's Two Island 13-day coach holiday in New Zealand, flying Air New Zealand. Third prize from Australian Pacific is a 14-day Red Centre Birdsville camping coach holiday for two, valued at $2,500. And fourth prize is two nights in Sydney, with accommodation supplied by the Australian Federation of Travel Agents and flying TAA. Travel insurance for all four prizes is covered by AFTER Travel Insurance. Hurry, $1 tickets are available from your local ANZ Bank and members of the Australian Federation of Travel Agents. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back again, Simon Gallagher. Clapping and dancing and 
singing along Hanging on your every word Everything's changed It's been rearranged You're the singer And this is your singer and this is your stage we're clapping and dancing and singing along hanging on your every word everything's changed it's been rearranged you're the singer and this is your To be famous, not trying for applause Baby, don't you know the songs I write and sing are yours When beneath the spotlight, singing to the world I'm really only singing for you Not trying to make the headlines, not trying to be great Maybe in my life I need you there to understand When at my piano Singing to the world I'm really only singing Just wish that you could see Baby, I need you to fill the emptiness in me When part of the rhythm And singing to the world I'm really only singing But I'm really only singing for you You're in the words, you're in the music You're on my mind, whatever I do Everyone out there thinks I'm singing for them But I'm really only singing for I'm really only singing for you. Magnum relives a nightmare and his sanity hangs in the balance. He'll bounce back. He always has. DC, everybody has a limit, even Magnum. 
He's seen people from Mac. the past. He's alive. Mac's alive. If Magnum thinks he saw Mac, he suffered an hallucination. Mac's dead. But no one believes him. Then it has to be Mac's ghost. You see. Now, I, I don't blame you for being upset. And he's beginning to wonder himself. Magnum with Tom Selleck on 10, 7.30 Saturday. Now, any time of the day or night can be Papa Giuseppe pizza time. With Papa Giuseppe's Pizza for One. In a handy four-pack to have one at a time while you keep the rest frozen fresh. With only the best ingredients, you've got all the makings of a delicious pizza with real top quality just for one. Papa Giuseppe's Pizza for One. No wonder everybody loves their papa. The Meridian Lodge, at the top of Melbourne Street, North Adelaide, where good times are had by all. We have rooms for your birthday party, engagement party, wedding party. Rooms for your seminar or convention or business breakfast. A superb restaurant with excellent food and wines, and a dinner dance Saturday nights. We have comfortable suites, each with its own lounge. A spa, a sauna, a pool. The Meridian Lodge, top of Melbourne Street, North Adelaide, where good times are had by all. And now it's time to meet the eight finalists in the 1985 Miss Personality Quest. To assist in the presentation, would you please welcome Sue Elborn. Hi Sue, you're looking as lovely as ever tonight. Thank you Mike, so are you if I may say so. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> I don't mind if you say so either. I would imagine the judges have had a tough time tonight. They certainly have, Mike. In fact, uh, just before we started the presentation, I was backstage with the girls having a last minute chat and they were all very excited and looking lovely, as you've already seen. I think this would be a good time to introduce the finalists, don't you? I think so too, Sue. Thanks very much for your assistance. Yes, time to meet the finalists. Finalist number one, sponsored by Mount Gambia Lions, Lioness and Leo Clubs, Carolyn Kenny. Here's Caroline in a pure still cream shantung gown trimmed with lace and sparkling sequins on the neckline. Caroline, good evening and welcome. Good evening, Michael. Now, you're a fitness fanatic. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, I like to keep myself fit, so I play netball most of the year. I go down to the gym as much as I can, and I've this year taken up yoga as well. Lovely. And you're in the banking game, but I believe you want to move into PR. That's right. At the moment, I'm a teller at the Westpac Bank. But if the opportunity arose to go into the pub public relations department, I'd be delighted. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And your fundraising effort, I believe, had a hint of yesteryear about it. That's right. We held 46040 dances, and they proved to be very popular. I think the one thing that made them so popular was the fact that the music wasn't amplified, and people knew that they didn't have to come armed with the Panadols and the cotton wool balls to have a good time. I think a lot of mums and dads out there would probably agree with you. Yes. Best of luck tonight, finalist number one, Carolyn Kenny. <laughs> finalist number two, sponsored by the Marion Lions Club, Tracy Brammer. This is Tracy wearing a lilac taffeta dress featuring a cummerbund at the waist. Hi Tracy. Hi Mike. <laughs> now you're interested in travelling, whereabouts would you like to go? Well, I'm planning a trip next year in February 86, um, hoping to go to Singapore, Penang and Malaysia. Half your luck. Why is that? Why Southeast Asia? Well, I think from uh, what I've heard that that type of a country is a completely different lifestyle from ours and uh, I'd like to see something different from Australia. Half your luck. You're also interested in sport, aren't you? A keen sporting person. <laughs> I've just finished playing uh, indoor cricket, but I'm now playing netball. Uh, the girls at work have all formed a team. So I'm playing with them and I'm enjoying it very much. Are you winning many matches? Awesome. <laughs> well, best of luck and best of luck tonight too. Finalist number two, Tracy Brammer. <laughs> Finalist number three is sponsored by the Darwin Casuarin Alliance Club, Danielle Cross. Here's Danielle who found her dress in the boutique in Darwin. As you can see, it has a dramatic Spanish look. Spanish look and Spanish type suntan, Danielle. Now, how are you enjoying the Adelaide winter? Well, I'm finding it very cold. It's a lot different to Darwin's weather. I bet it has been hot in Darwin the last couple of months, hasn't it? Yes, it's been fantastic sunbaking weather at the moment. So and you've really taken full it. advantage of it by the looks of things. 
you're interested in tap dancing, is that right? Yes, I teach at my sister's dancing school in Darwin every Tuesday. Really? Yes. You didn't bring the tap shoes along tonight? No, fortunately. Well, unfortunately for us, of course. And your fundraising took you onto the golf course. I don't suppose by chance you scored a hole in one? No, I was far from a hole in one, but I was fortunate enough to go with someone that had played golf before. Otherwise, I think I'd still be out there hitting the golf ball. <laughs> well, just as well you weren't, because you're here instead. Best of luck. Finalist number three, Danielle Cross. <laughs> Finalist number four is sponsored by the Tea Tree Gully Lions and the City of Adelaide Lions Clubs, and it's Cheryl Whiteley. This is Cheryl in white embossed satin, featuring a lacy bodice with matching motive and sash. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Mike. Now, you're interested in aqua aerobics. What exactly is aqua aerobics? Aqua aerobics is aerobics in water. It's not deep water. You can touch the bottom and you don't drown. And you don't need a life jacket? No, you don't need a life jacket. It's very good for you, actually, because the water supports 90% of the body. Well, it hasn't done you any harm, no. obviously. <laughs> and your work brings a smile to the face of many people, doesn't it? Yes. I'm an apprentice dental technician for the South Australian Dental Services and basically we're involved in prosthetic dentistry which involves the construction of dentures and other removable and fixed appliances for the mouth. Great dentures. Well, if I need a set, I'll come and see you, I can assure okay. you. Your fundraising uh, was slightly unusual um, by your mere presence. Tell us about it. We had a Chinese banquet as one of my fundraising functions and the restaurant's quite close to where I live and I'd given everyone else directions to get to the restaurant and I thought I'd be clever and take the back streets but I got lost and I was the last person to arrive. <laughs> well just as well you didn't get lost tonight. It's to our advantage of course. Thanks very much. We wish you the best of luck. Finalist number four, Cheryl Whiteley. After this break we'll return to talk to the remaining finalists in this the 1985 Miss Personality Quest. <laughs> It's big money. I'm sure that that's uh, JK's over there. It's, what, the 25000 And it's big men you won't believe. It's championship wrestling. Give me a break. This is Get into it. 10.30 tonight. Mainland Kiwi Golds for me. It's from New Zealand, you see. Made in the mould, just like cheeses of old. There's nothing quite like the taste. You won't find one better than our tasty cheddar and a colby they'll never replace it's from new zealand yes see mainland kiwi gold that's the one for me for a bargain priced holiday in peaceful new zealand open the new zealand adventure planner choose from leisurely strolls over rolling mountains or tranquil rides down gentle rivers cruise comfortably along smooth highways or watch the natives at their national sport. Remember, a fun-packed holiday in New Zealand has never been smoother sailing. So for more bargains, get your New Zealand Adventure Planner from your travel agent and visit the New Zealand you never expected with Qantas and Air New Zealand. <laughs> Bedroom Mazurka have gone berserker during their end-of-season crazy clearance. Feather and down continental quilts starting from a low $29. Novelty quilt covers just $19.95. Polyester quilts fully washable and from only $15.95. Save up to 40% on Sheridan and Saraband quality quilt covers from only $29.95. And warnable woolen under blankets at crazy sellout prices starting at $29.95. Bedroom Berserker's end of season crazy clearance is on now. Welcome back to the final of the 1985 Miss Personality Quest. Now let's meet the remaining finalist. Finalist number five is sponsored by the Kensington and Norwood Lions Clubs and a touch of finesse, and it's Carmel Fitzpatrick. Carmel's in top pink and lilac taffeta with a hip-length ruched bodice and full skirt. Hello, Carmel. Hello, Mike. How are you? Very well indeed, thanks. Yes. Now, you're a dental hygienist, and that's a pretty new profession in this neck of the woods, I believe. Yes, that's right. It is a very new profession, and we're very lucky to have the only school in the Southern Hemisphere here in Adelaide. Great. You've just returned from a holiday from uh, Milford Sound in New Zealand and I believe it was slightly unusual. Yes, it was. It was a five-day trek at the Milford and at the Milford it rains about seven metres a year and we had our knapsacks and the whole works. 
and unfortunately rained about six metres on us and we were wet for the whole five days. It was quite an experience. Sounds like a great holiday. I'll give that one a miss. And also, one of the camper vans you had on your holiday, I believe you added your own air conditioning to it. Yes, that's right. We hired two vans and when on hiring them, we didn't realise that one was higher than the other. And the higher of the two went under a bridge first and the sick no, hold on, the shorter of the one went through the bridge first, the second one followed and unfortunately didn't quite make it and the roof was left behind. So we did have a very wet holiday. Well, I'm sure that the people who hired it to you will know where to send the bill. Best of luck tonight. Finalist number five, Carmel Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Finalist number six is sponsored by the Cleve District Lions Club and it's Joanne Nolan. Joanne's wearing an unusual gown trimmed with 400 seed pearls. Her mother spent 17 hours sewing it. Hi, Joanne. Good evening, Mike. Now, you're interested in windsurfing and you live at Cleve. I can't see how you can combine the two. Tell us. Well, I live at Cleve, but I windsurf at a nearby coastal town called Anna Bay, where I play sport and where most of my friends live. But I'm very amateur at it. Really? Yes. And also, you're a keen dress designer. That's right. In the not too distant future, I'd like to get involved in fashion design. At the moment, I'm just draw sketching pictures and getting a friend to make them. Is that a picture of what you designed? That's right. Very nice too. Thank you. I believe the community of Cleve helped you greatly in your fundraising too. That's right. The community of Cleve are fantastic in my fundraising. My final function was a bull and bush review, which brought out 380 people from the district of Cleve, and we had old time music and um, Australiana ballads and we were fortunately the Can Can Girls. Really? Should have been there. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun and well done Cleve. Finalist number six, Joanne Nolan. <laughs> Finalist number seven is sponsored by the Edwardstown Lions Club and it's Monique Gammon. Monique chose the design of her gown. It's an off-the-shoulder design, full-skirted in striking lame. Hi there. Hello. Now, you've already done some travelling with the help of lions, haven't you? Yes, I have. At the end of 1983, I was lucky enough to be a part of the Lions Youth Exchange Program to the United States for six weeks. Whereabouts in the States? I went to Portland, Oregon. Really? Well, that would have been near some snow country from memory. And did you do some skiing? No, I didn't actually set foot in skis. But what I did do is slid down the slopes on an inner tube, which was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, and it can be very dangerous too. But uh, this summer you have something in mind, don't you? Yes, this summer I have a burning ambition to learn how to water ski. Best of luck. Thank I'd you. I'd like to learn too. <laughs> Finalist number seven tonight, Monique Gammon. <laughs> and finally, finalist number eight, who is sponsored by the Mitcham Lions Club, it's Diane Collier. Diane made her own dress with the help of her grandmother. Hello, Diane. Hi, Mike. Now, you're keen on aerobics, and I've always thought aerobics is a little bit tough on the body. No, it's not. The longer you keep aerobics up, the looser the muscles will get, and eventually you won't feel sore in the morning. Well, I have that problem most mornings. I don't mind admitting it either. But uh, you're keen on um, combining your fitness and your profession, I believe. Yes, that's right. I'm studying home economics, which essentially involves eating nutritiously and having a healthy lifestyle. So I like to combine exercise with that. And any travel plans? Yes, hopefully. I'd love to travel to America or Europe. Great. We wish you luck and we wish you luck tonight. Finalist number eight, Diane Collier. <laughs> and right after this break, We'll be back for the big announcement, the crowning of Miss Personality 1985. Personality, 1985. <laughs> to assist in the presentation, please welcome Miss Personality, 1984, Miss Sally Chippendale. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Sally. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Mike. Now, it looks as though you've just come back from overseas. I couldn't help notice your suntan. You must have had a great year. Tell us about it. I had a wonderful year, as I said earlier on in the show. And I'd like to, while I'm standing here, thank a few people for that year. First of all, I'd like to thank the Lions Clubs of South Australia and the Northern Territory for sponsoring a girl in the quest this year. And I hope we have you with us again next year, along with some more clubs. Because when you do sponsor a girl, you're not only helping in raise money for the different beneficiaries we have, but you're also helping in the development of a young girl from your district. I'd also like to thank Robin Leader, Pam Ellis and Jeff Oates for making the quest possible and a very, very big thank you to all the girls for all their hard work this year. I would just like to say good luck to all the final entrants and I wish you all the very happiness that I had for my year. Thank you, Sally. Well done. And now to make the announcement of Miss Personality, 1985, the man who's entertained us all evening, Simon Gallagher. Thanks, Mike. Simon, how are you? Pretty well, pretty well. We haven't seen you in Adelaide for a while, have we? No, and probably not since uh, the Pirates of Penzance um, late last year. And uh, I've been touring around the country with that. At the moment, I'm doing my own shows, but uh, back into Pirates yet again at the end of this year. Great, we wish you luck. Now, you have an envelope in your hand there, and I think we'd all like it to be open. I sure have, and uh, this is lucky number 13. And the winner for Miss Personality 1985 is Monique Gammon. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Personality 1985, Miss Monique Gammon. Monique wins a magnificent trip for two to London with Thai Airways International and an exciting holiday arranged by Concord Travel of South Australia. She will travel within Australia by Ansett Airlines. She also wins $2,000 in traveller's checks from the Westpac Banking Corporation. $400 worth of imported French perfume and accessories and $400 worth of Javina Cosmetics, both from McNeil Fister. Italian leatherwear from Poche, fashion garments from Witchcraft Boutique, and six months hair care from Clipjoint. Congratulations, Monique, Miss Personality. I'm sure there are many people you'd like to thank. Would you like to come up here, please? Congratulations. Thank you. Now, there are many people out there who are as excited as you are. Oh, yes, I'm sure there are. Distinguished guests, distinguished lions, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm very... <laughs> oh, this is a big surprise. You weren't expecting it? No. <clears throat> Firstly, I'd like to thank the Lions Club of Edwardstown for giving me the opportunity to be here and be a part of the quest. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for anybody. Uh, I'd also like to especially thank my Quest Chairman, Mr Don Burge, and his wife Judith for all the support they gave me throughout the past year. I'd like to thank everybody that helped me through the past year, especially my friends, and I'd like to especially thank my family and parents, especially my mum. Thank you. Great. Congratulations, Monique. Now, if you, if you have enough strength left, would you honour us with a parade? <music> Ladies and gentlemen, joining Miss Personality for 1985 is Miss Charity Queen. And from all of us here at Channel 10, thank you for viewing and good night.
Dallas returns to the Thursday night 9.30 time slot next week here on 10. Stay with us now for Championship Wrestling, followed by The Sorcerer's Apprentice, tonight's episode of The Paper Chase.